What's up everyone? This is Rakesh here once again. Welcome to the session of Oracle SQL. So guys, in our last session, what we have discussed, we have discussed the foreign key constraint. Now, what exactly we are going to discuss over here? Over here, we are going to discuss the what? Check constraint. Yes, that is a topic which we are going to discuss over here. So let's begin. Okay. So guys, what is check constraint? Check constraint is nothing but it checks before inserting value into the particular column. So that is nothing but your check constraint. Okay. Now let's understand check constraint with the help of one example. Let's say for example, you have one table called as a employee table. Over here, you can see there is one column called as a gender column. Over here, right now, this gender column didn't have any uh, constraint. Means I can insert anything, whatever I want to insert means uh, i do not have a control over the data now but gender value can be only two correct which is nothing but your male or female this is the only two values can be possible now if i want to impose such a kind of rule saying that boss you can insert only two values either male or female then how you can impose such a kind of rule? Such a kind of rule you can impose with the help of check constraint. So that is nothing but your check constraint. So what exactly the check constraint is? Check constraint is nothing but it will check before inserting any value into this particular column. What it will check? It will check whether it will exist into this list or not. And this list contains the male and female value either of them you can insert either male or either female okay so what it will do it will check from this list and if uh, value is exist in this list then only then it will allow otherwise it will give the error so that is nothing but your check constraint okay guys so now you can say that okay boss i have understood what exactly the check constraint is before inserting the data into particular column it will check into the particular list and if that value exists then only then it will allow to insert into that particular column but where exactly this list and how exactly it links so guys i would like to tell that when we create the table at that time only we will give some values and that values will be stored into some list okay so what it will do it will uh, check before inserting data into that particular column what it will check it will check that okay in this list that value is available or not if it is not available then it won't allow so this is how this list is related and this is what the check constraint is so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the check constraint is now let's go for the practical in that you will understand in more detail So guys now let's see the practical part of the check constraint over here first we will understand what exactly the check constraint is and then later on we will see one example of the check constraint okay so let's begin but before that i would like to show you the table on which i am going to add the check constraint so as you can see over here this is the table i am going to use as an example okay now over here you can see these are the columns available in the supplier table now let's understand what exactly the check constraint is. So in order to understand the check constraint, we need to take help of one column, which is nothing but your gender column. Okay. And over here, we need to focus only on the one column, which is nothing but your gender column. Okay. So let's start what exactly the check constraint is. So guys, as you can see over here, I have inserted the X, Y, Z value in the gender column. Can you tell me one thing in the gender column or can gender be XYZ? No, not at all because gender can have only male or female value. Correct? Gender cannot be other than male or female. Now, if you want to impose such a kind of rule saying that boss, you can insert value from this list only, then how you can impose that kind of rule? That kind of rule you can impose with the help of uh, check constraint. So over here, what happening? Oh, I'm inserting whatever I'm feeling better. Okay. Or whatever uh, insertion I want to do, I can insert. I do not have a control over the data. So if you want to gain the control over the insertion of a data, 
then how you can get the control over here so you need to add the condition on this column and that condition is gender in male or female okay guys any condition you can apply let's see over here whatever the condition we are discussing on the gender column that condition we will discuss over here so over here on gender column what condition you can add over here in our example you can add such a kind of condition instead of this condition you can add any condition for example this i have added on the supplier underscore id column so this is nothing but your uh, um, uh, check constraint over here also this is also nothing but your check constraint over here it is ensuring that before inserting any value into the supplier underscore id column ensure that supplier underscore id is greater than equal to 100 so this is what the ensuring and this is what the checking over here so that's why it is called a check constraint now let's understand what are the ways to add the check constraint so there are two ways to add the check constraint the first way is when table is creating at that time you can add the check constraint another way is when table is already exist at that time also you can add the check constraint now let's see both the way one by one so as you can see over here this is the first way when table is creating at that time we are adding over here check consent these are the two lines responsible to add the check consent on the gender column and over here you can see this is the keyword this is again keyword which is nothing but your consent type which consent we are adding this is nothing but your consent name and this is nothing but your column on which you are adding the consent and this is the list which i was talking about okay so whenever we insert any value over here let me show you over here we are inserting any value so this value will be checked over here whether that value is available in this list or not if it is not available then don't allow to insert this value in the gender column or i can say that over here please don't allow to insert that value to insert okay so that is nothing but your check consent and this is the example when table is creating at the time you can add the check consent now let's see one more example of the when table is creating at the time you can add the check consent so this is the another example you can see over here over here i am adding the check consent on the supplier underscore id column and what i am checking over here the value should be in between the 100 and 4 times 9 so uh, whenever i insert any value in this column then that value should exist or that should that value should be in between the 100 and the 4 times 9 okay so this is how you can add the check consent when table is creating okay now let's see another way when table is already exist then how you can add the check consent so you can add the check consent like this so this is nothing but your alter sql statement over here whatever the blue text you can see over here this is nothing but your predefined keyword okay this is the table name this is the constraint name and this is nothing but what constraint you are adding and this is nothing but your column on which you are adding the constraint and over here we are giving the list boss before inserting any value please check in this list whether that value is exist in this list or not if it does not exist then please don't allow to insert that value okay so this is nothing but your second example when table is already exist okay since in our case table is already exist so we need to use this example okay but before that let me delete this data because xyz value is not available in this list so when i will run this sql statement it will give error let me show you you can see over here i got one error now in order to rectify that error what i need to do i need to delete this value okay or i have to add this xyz value in this list so i will prefer to delete uh, the xyz value okay so let me delete over here so all the rows got deleted let me commit over here and uh, let me show you over here so all the rows got deleted now i can add the check consent over here okay check consent got added over here you can see now let me try to insert the xyz value which is not available in this list okay then what will happen it will give the error 
let me show you over here so as you can see over here i got one error over here means i cannot insert the uh, xyz value which is not available in the list so this is what the check concern and this is how we can add the ch check concern okay so i hope guys you have understood what exactly the check concern is now let me add the one valid value which is nothing but your mail okay so mail is valid value because mail is available in this list so mail will be get inserted so you can see over here mail got inserted now let me commit over here and let me show you over here so mail got inserted so this is all about this check consent guys i hope you have understood now let's go for the assignment And guys, I hope you have understood what exactly the check concern is. And if you have understood and if this video helps you, then please, please share this video and subscribe my channel so that it will give me more energy and I will be inspired to create more and more better content for you guys. So please uh, subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching for the video. Bye-bye. Take care.